So a lot of hams ask me, what size battery do I actually need for running my ham radio shack? Whether that be for poda, for soda, for emergencies, for field day, or just for powering the shack during outages. So today I'm looking at the lead time 50 amp hour battery, the 100 amp hour and the 200 amp hour battery, just to see how long they really run your radios for. Also, what scenarios would you use these? Obviously, there's capacity, but then there are other factors to think in as well. And Lee Time are doing their annual Black Friday sales. If you're thinking of upgrading, now is the cheapest time of the year to do that. Okay, so I've got my 706 powered up here. That's running off the 50 amp hour battery at the moment. Obviously, this is a very small battery. It is nice, it is lightweight. It is uh, very small compared to the other two options. This would be good for when you wanna be running things such as POTA and you're only running it for a very short duration of time. So if you're doing an activation, uh, maybe even if you're activating all day, something like the 50 amp hour battery is going to do. Now, just rough, some rough calculations. If you're running sort of like 20% transmit time, 80% receive, this radio, I'm just guessing off the top of my head without looking at specifications, let's say it draws like two amps on receive and transmits at say 10 amps if we're running you know, 50 watts or something like that, then you're gonna get plenty of run time. I think uh, when I calculated it out, it was something like 14 hours or something. So you're gonna get a whole day's, almost two days worth of activations out of a 50 amp hour battery. Now I've used this battery for doing a couple of POTA activations. I've also run some uh, testing, bench testing. So if I've run out of power supplies, I'll grab this battery and I'll just hook up the radio or hook up the piece of equipment that I need to run off of this. Uh, this is also great for being able to carry out to say an antenna or outside rather than somewhere that doesn't have power. Probably, I don't know, it's probably a little bit too heavy for soda, for most sodas. I'm not sure that I'd be able to carry this on a soda trip. You might want to if you're happy to carry this and have everything else in your backpack, especially if you're camping overnight. If you're a hardcore soda operator and you're gonna be like doing camping on top of a mountain, then maybe a 50 amp hour battery will, will suit you for that. But uh, that's probably the use cases for the 50 amp hour battery. Lightweight, portable, small operations for you know a reasonable amount of time obviously it's going to vary depending on how much equipment and everything else that you've got connected to it that's where the 100 amp hour comes in now obviously double the amount of capacity the group 24 plus this 100 amp hour version it has bluetooth built into it so you can grab your phone you can pair it up to the battery you can see all of your statistics you can see your battery voltage your current draw your capacity left all those sort of things easily on your phone. Now, this also fits nicely in a larger battery box and I did a video on that. In fact, here it is here. This is uh, the, the battery box that I chose and I've got all of the Anderson power poles here on the top. I've got some smaller ones on the front, some terminals, uh, I've got cigarette lighter, all of those things to power all of my equipment. So it makes it perfect for um, emergency communications backup stuff. Uh, that fits quite nicely into the back of the car. Uh, you can run many different pieces of equipment off of it. When I run field day, I'm not just running one radio. I usually have like three radios. I'll have my HF radio, my VHF, UHF radio, and then also my microwave gear. And then when you include all of the other pieces of equipment, so I've got a GPS, uh, I've got some other bits and pieces, maybe something that runs off of an inverter, that's where I need the extra capacity of the 100 amp hour. Now, as far as weight's concerned, let's just move the 706 out of the way here. As far as weight's concerned, it is heavier than the 50 amp hour, obviously, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, all of these are LiPo 4 batteries, and they're obviously a lot lighter than you're gonna find with sealed lead acid batteries. So, um, still very portable. So if you still wanna be able to you know, carry this somewhere maybe uh, around the house, even for Poda. For Poda, you're gonna run for like a week. Now, by the way, Lee Time have their annual Black Friday sale right now. It's the lowest price of the year. Plus, they've given me a 10% code DX10 for a couple of these models. There's also an 8% off code that is for all of their products for those that aren't listed uh, for the 10% off deal so i'll pop everything in the description below so that you can compare and you can grab yourself a bargain on a battery 
Now let's just move these batteries out of the way as we talk about the big boy, which is the 200 amp hour plus. Now obviously in a lot of situations, you'll probably think that this is overkill for what you really need. This obviously weighs a lot more than the other two options. Uh, it's got these carry handles, but it's, it's actually not too bad. I can lift it off the bench there. If you were trying to get a 200 amp hour um, battery in a sealed lead acid form, then you, there's no way you're going to be able to lift it. It's going to be way too heavy. So obviously this is going to be double the capacity again of the 100 amp hour, but it's going to be four times the capacity of the 50 amp hour. So where would you use this? A great place to put this is permanently, perhaps in your vehicle, if you're into off-roading, overlanding, camping for long durations, and you want to maybe just top it up with some solar. Club field day stations, if you've got multiple radios, lots of different radios, if you want to run this as your club, uh, sorry, not your club, as your backup shack for power uh, backup, then this is going to last you a long time. So especially if you live in an area where you're getting frequent power outages, this would be good. Now, what I'm going to be running this for specifically is my repeater. So I've got a repeater which currently does not have battery backup, but it needs battery backup. So my options are to get maybe a couple 200 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries, quite heavy, got to carry them up to the site. They don't um, last as long with their capacity. They have voltage drop, which drops, uh, whereas the LiPo 4 batteries have quite a constant voltage until they start to really sag right at the end. I'm going to run this uh, on yeah my repeater, which runs around about 15 amps on transmit and about half an amp on receive. Now, obviously, if this was transmitting all of the time, so say for constantly at 15 amps, I'm going to get 13 hours of capacity out of this. Obviously, that's unrealistic because <laughs> ham repeaters don't transmit all day every day unless you've got one which is amazing and got lots of activity on it. The more realistic thing is say it's 10% of the time on transmit, most of the time on receive, you're gonna get about four days or I'm gonna get about four days of capacity out of this. Now, if I know that the power's gone off, then I can start to remotely switch things off to reduce the power load down if I need to. I can disable the transmitter to um, also save a bit of power too. So that's proper resilience in uh, emergency situations. Only just a couple of months ago, we had to actually take a generator to this site to be able to power things up. So the repeater was actually off the air for the amount of time while the power was off because of we had a weather event. So I'm a big, big fan of LiPo 4. There's many different advantages of LiPo 4 over sealed lead acid batteries. Obviously weight is the biggest thing, but they also have a higher cycle life. You've also got the smart features, say in the 100 amp hour version with the Bluetooth. Better voltage stability under load. They're great for multiple purposes, not just for ham radio, but if you're powering other pieces of equipment. And they've come a long way in technology. I struggle now to try and think of uh, places where I would use a sealed lead acid battery over a LiPo 4. So with the LiPo 4 batteries, you have to use a compatible charger. Now the charger that I use are the Victron Smart Blue chargers. So I've got a 25 amp version here, which charges the larger uh, batteries. And then I've got a smaller five amp version and this charges the smaller 50 amp battery. So uh, these are very reliable, highly resilient. Um, so these are a great choice if you're looking for a smart charger. So if you want a deeper dive into some of these batteries or you want to see, say, my battery box build and how I put that together, then I'll link a bunch of those videos over here. But go over into the description below, grab yourself a bargain now from Lee Time, and I'll see you in the next video.